Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be featuring a team that is probably well overdue here on the channel, and that is going to be all based around Porygon Z, the powerhouse that has been introduced with the Isle of Armor. With that adaptability ability, uh, it's just insanely strong. Um, normally carrying things like Hyper Beam, Dark Pulse, Thunderbolt, Nasty Plot even is an option on there. You're commonly seeing it with Redirect and more commonly with the Clefairy here. So that's what the team is based around. We've got some interesting picks in around it. We've got the Mind Shao, uh, a really nice pick with Coaching. So we can boost the attack power even further on that Porygon Z. If we get into cells, get ourselves into favorable positions here. Then supporting with the Rillaboom, the Assault Vest there, the obviously the Clefairy we've already mentioned. Um, then the Magnazon with the Expert Belt and Talonflame tagged on the end to give us that kind of speed control that we're really needing in this team, otherwise we'd be missing. So you might think on face value that Trick Room is gonna be a bit of an issue for this team, and it definitely is, but we do have Taunt on Mind Shower to help us kind of get around that. And then the redirection and hopefully Magnazon is on uh, which is one of the slower members of the team will help us get around any trick room issues so there will be a rental code uh, team at the end of the episode so do stick around for that there'll be a poker paste down in the description below and uh, without further ado let's get into this one today so here we got patrick up as our first opponent and they are playing a team of rillaboom togekiss arcanine melodic tyranitar and cinderace so there's a few things on patrick's team that definitely stand out to us as being super threatening uh to porygon z definitely the cinderace uh it has access to uh, the high jump kick and the max knuckle so it's definitely options that the pz doesn't want to have to contend with and then you've got the redirection there with the togekiss um other than that though i mean the tyranitar as well is a bit scary but it's not the worst thing to see now i think we can probably go safely talent flame and porygon z now that, that like to deny us our speed control uh, they're going to have to lead Rillaboom. Um, and I think we probably want... Yeah, our own Rillaboom. I think in Mindshow. I think... Oh, do we want Clefairy? Like Mindshow is incredibly good against... Well, pretty much just the Tyranitar. Whereas Clefairy offers Friend Guard support redirection for the whole team. So I think that's what we'll go with. Uh, the Arcanine is going to be a bit tricky to take down, uh, for sure. So we're going to have to rely heavily on PZ to deal with that Arcanine. So let's see what we can do here. Um, I definitely miss not having a water type in the team. I think there's like the, the issue with Mind Shower. You would normally go for uh, the, the, the kind of pick that you would be like really first going to is Urshifu, the Surgeon Strikes form, because then it gives you the water type and the fighting. Um, but I really wanted to play the coaching Mind Shell in this team. So that was a big reason why uh, we haven't got Urshifu here. Okay, so we do see Rillaboom, and it's gonna get its grassy terrain up. And there is Molotic as well. So I think turn one, um, I mean, we just, I, the problem is max striking here is we're going to proc. Um, we're going to proc the. Uh, competitive ability on Melotic. Now we could switch into Clefairy here or I might actually, I'm kind of tempted to switch into to Rillaboom, honestly, and just protect Porygon Z here and just keep our talent flame for the late game. I think that might be a better decision right now. Um, Cause I'm not really too sure what this Melotic's gonna be going for. And I'm not, like I would imagine the Rillaboom going fake out here. Um, something is maxing. So it looks like it's gonna be, is it gonna be the Melotic? I imagine it would be, yeah. Okay. This isn't the worst thing in the world because ne the next turn at least we can double that Melotic slot lot of pressure onto it and whether my opponent wants to stay in or um max guard is another thing so that's i think the next decision that we have to make is what my opponent does 
um, this next turn. We do see the fake out, which goes into that talent flame slot, and uh, the geyser, which will be into that really boom, I think. Not the yeah, not the PZ, so they're leaving that alone. So we could have potentially attacked with PZ here and got our max lightning up, which would have been very helpful. Um, but the Melotic's got to feel very, very threatened right now very threatened because I think what we can do is just wood hammer and go max strike and we've got to hope that the uh, the Rillaboom doesn't have an I don't think a wood hammer is going to take down a PZ even in grassy terrain uh, I think our Rillaboom should outspeed their Melotic the only thing that would worry me here is if we see a max guard on the Melotic and that puts us in a, a little bit more of a tricky spot and we're wasting a turn of our max move with PZ. And that's not really what you want to be doing. Whereas if we target it into the Rillaboom's uh, slot, which is now the Arcanine, we could probably pick up a knockout there and then start the snowball rolling. It's just making that call though, because um, if if we don't target the Melotic here and it doesn't max guard and it does attack, it really down. so, you know. It's, it's tough. It's tough making these decisions sometimes. Let's see, and there's a max guard. Okay, okay. Well, that's that's. It's still kind of all right. It's not ideal at all because um, <laughs> I mean the problem. The, what we could potentially do is actually just wood hammer here. Wood hammer the melodic and max guard with PZ. We're not getting any, any value out of PZ here, but I, I, like we don't want to just be like mindlessly throwing it away, just throwing attacks out. We had an opportunity where we could have got the Arcanine, definitely on the switching. And you would imagine here, it's probably going to go snarl. Um, like ideally, I would like to see. Oh, it goes, oh man, wow. Okay, wow, wow. It goes Will-O-Wisp. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel so bad. Like that couldn't have went any worse for my opponent. We get a great wood hammer into the Melotic. The Will-O-Wisp misses our Rillaboom. That's nuts. Uh, and Rillaboom pretty much nearly gone now. Uh, we've got one turn of our max left, which is not ideal. This is not really how you want to be playing PZ. You want to be kind of just constantly chucking out attacks, picking up knockouts, picking up knockouts. That's what you want to be doing with it. Um, okay. So, I think at this point we'll switch in Clefairy and what's, what am I more worried about? I think because we've got um, Talonflame in the back, I'm not too worried about the opposing Rillaboom, so I'm going to go after the Arcanine. Now, it wouldn't surprise me if we do see a Snarl here from the Arcanine. It is one of those Pokemon that can outspeed Porygon Z, so um, if it goes for that, then yeah, because it would make sense now to probably fake out our Rillaboom and then go for potentially a Snarl, but actually, the outspeed the Arcanine isn't bulky, though. It doesn't take this. No. Wow. Okay, I didn't expect this to outspeed the Arcanine. I think if you're running Arcanine, I think you need to hit the, like, max it so it is like making use of that base speed that it's got you know base 95 so there is a wood hammer because of the friend god we do actually take that we know we outspeed the rillaboom um which is great for our next turn um now we get so lucky in this game i think like the rng is really really kind of not went in any other direction other than ours in this match but it's not over yet we've got rillaboom uh, we've got cinderace coming in now and and I think the problem with Cinderace coming in is um, it does add speed us. So it could go for a bounce here to avoid an attack. And I think we just follow me and go for a hyper beam into the Borith Mick or however it is pronounced. Wherever that is from, I should know. I should know, but the Rillaboom. Um, and we should be able to take the Rillaboom down with that hyper beam. And then we'll just pull the attacks in. I just don't want to attack into Cinderace here and then kind of be locked out on the field, not able to move this next turn. Uh, we could definitely just see a double up into Clefairy where we see Grassy Glide and maybe an Iron Head just to get rid of it. 
uh, that's definitely an option. But I think the Club Fairy support here is is the the one thing that we definitely need uh, to allow PZ to kind of clean up from the point that we're at. So we do actually see a high jump kick. They're targeting down that PZ hard. I'm uh, gonna go into Club Fairy though, so I'm gonna be able to take that. It's not a very effective attack there, and PZ should now. Uh, be able to take down this Rillaboom. We do connect. No Grass and Glide coming out from the Rillaboom. And let's see. I don't think it's going to be able to. Nah, no way. No way. Not even with an Assault Vest. I just can't. <laughs> I don't think anyway. The, uh, you probably can, but the Calc is going to be nuts what you have to do. So I think right now we just um, protect Clefairy, let PZ go down. Uh, I mean, we don't necessarily need to. We could just follow me again. Um, and that's probably the smarter thing, and then use PZ one more time to uh, take down the Cinderace, because if Clefairy goes down here, then we've got Talonflame to bring in the back uh, that will just allow us to set the Tailwind up and then get that final Hyper Beam off if we need to. Um, we may see the Steel type come out here. Okay, Pyroball coming out, uh, which just makes it easier, because if, if Clefairy goes down here, then yeah, that's we've just got the Hyper Beam to go into it next turn. The fairy actually taking that pretty comfortably. Um, and now I would imagine we'll see the steel type. Well, maybe not. Maybe they don't have the steel type in because if they did, I, I would imagine that's what you would have went for to get rid of the Clefairy. Like you would, especially with the life orb, like an iron head is definitely going to be more than enough to take it down. But like I say, we weren't in the worst of spots where we had the talent flame in the back uh, to come in and kind of rescue us if uh, the Clefairy does go down. So we'll go for that final follow me. Another Pyro Ball coming out. It will be enough to pick up the Clefairy here. And then PZ is going to be able to pick up the knockout onto Cinderace. So PZ's actually, even though we didn't make the most of our turns through those max turns when we Dynamax, we have actually put in a lot of work after that. And like I say, we did get lucky. I'm not going to deny that. We got very lucky missing that Will-O-Wisp and the Wood Hammer into the Melotic. Um, <clears throat> even though we were kind of... Were we doubling in that turn? I, no, I don't think we were. I think we max guarded, didn't we? We max guarded and went Wood Hammer. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think it we would have been able to close it out. It would have just been a lot more difficult to close out from the point that we were at because we wouldn't have picked up the knockout onto the Melotic. So um, we do get the win. Good game to my opponent. And uh, we will continue on. Okay, so we got our next opponent and they are playing a team of Butt Free, Lipard, Hatterene, Lissy. Oh joy. Shuckle and the Dusclops. Oh, I didn't I didn't ever want to have to put one of these episodes up <laughs> on the channel. Why? Okay, well, what are we looking at here? Got the Butterfree, it's got redirection, it's got sleep powder, it is a big threat to our team for sure. Uh, it's probably got the sash there. We've got Lipod. It's got a fast fake out, faster than a mind shower by one speed stat, I think, one point. And then you've got Hatterene, which is your Trick Room setter, uh, potential G Max Pokemon. Um, Blissey, which is going to be all about minimizing and then doing this, the, the power swap with the Shuckle to switch defenses or guard swap, whichever it is. And then you've got Dusclops, the secondary Trick Room setter. So we, we like there's a heavy reliance on us being able to stop the trick room and that's going to be very difficult with that lie pod out on the field and um, now i think one thing we could potentially do is go club fairy pz it gives us redirection which helps us a bunch against this sort of team um it doesn't help us stop the trick room but it does give us a lot of options to stop like the copycat and things like that. So I think what we've got to do is plan around this. Uh, I mean, Rillaboom and let's go Magnazon uh, and lock in because I, like I'm going to run out of time otherwise. And we don't want to be leading with PZ and Mineshow here, even though Mineshow does have the, the taunt. It's not going to be doing too much outside of that. And I think the Clefairy PZ give us a lot of options here. Especially with the help in hand, we can nuke things like the Dusclops if we see that come out. Like I say, we can, we can follow me. Uh, and with Rillaboom, at least we've got a way to stop the psychic terrain. We do see that. Okay, so we are looking at Hatterene and Dusclops. What are we going to do here? Um, I think we have to nuke the Dusclops, to be honest. I think we have to go help in hand, Max. 
and go max darkness into that Dusclops and just get rid of it. We might see double trick room, but it's more likely we see a protect on the Hatterene. You know that the Dusclops doesn't have access to protect, which may indicate it might switch out. But if it doesn't, then we can get the max darkness into it. We can help it have boost, get rid of it, and hopefully see the hat and go for protect. That would be best case scenario for us right now. Literally, best case scenario. Um, because then the next turn, we can go full max strike into the hat and kind of pick pick each thing off one by one. Okay. We're gonna see protect. No protect coming out, so we do get the max darkness. I reckon that they're, they're cutting their losses. I think they're going for the fact that if I lose one, I'm gonna get the trick room up with the other, which is a little bit risky because if we decide to switch out there, then they just double with it, like double trick room reverse their trick room. Um, and there's a trick room from the hat. That's the one thing that we didn't want to see. But it's here, and there's nothing we can do about it. We can just play around it the best we can. I mean, we'd still have Clefairy, so not all is not lost at the minute. Uh, we might see. Okay, Lissy coming in. <laughs> And it begins, and it begins. Um, okay. Well, I think we follow me, and then we just go max strike into hat. Because hat's gonna be the thing that, that, that maxes. It is minus one, so I think we do get it. Um, and the bliss is probably gonna go for minimize, I think. So here we go. You'd much rather see Max Blessy, to be honest, but it's not gonna happen. Okay, so there's a hat. D-Max Smite, we've gotta get through this, uh, the confusion. If we can get through the confusion, I think we, we will have a chance. But if we don't, then it's gonna be very, very difficult. G-Max Smite, come on, PZ. Prove that you're not a confused soul. Do it for the team, do it for the squad. We need to do this right now, come on. Come on. See, Blissey, gonna go for that. Oh, Substitute, huh? Okay, so Substitute, Seismic Toss, Soft Boiled. Come on, PZ. Yes, come on! <laughs> I've never been so happy to hit an attack with PZ. Oh my God, we don't even pick up the knockout. Is that Sash? Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, um, this makes it very tricky now because yeah, this is awkward. This is really awkward. Uh, we've got to get through two turns. Of... Okay, well, I think we'll go for the same again. Um, but we might be better going full max darkness this time into the hat. They're definitely relying on us. Uh, come on, Clefairy, pull through. Good, good, Clefairy, good, Clefairy. You're the best, you're the best. The, be <laughs> the best, I'm so over the top right now. It's just like I feel a bit overwhelmed. We've got this horrible Blissey. Blissey's in a horrible Pokemon, but it's horrible to play against. And then we've got, uh, oh, what are you doing? Minimize, of course you are. You do that, Blissey. Oh, I feel like crying already. <laughs> Come on, PZ. Come on, you can... Ah. Okay, we'll bring in Rillaboom, because we can fake out into that, that hat. They haven't got the psychic terrain up, so we're fine. They haven't got psychic terrain in the back, so again, we're fine. Um, maybe it's best now to... potentially switch out into Magnezone. We do have body press with Magnezone. Um, and it just gets away from, like, not great. I mean, we could stay in and just Dark Pulse, but I don't think we actually break the sub with Magnezone uh, on that on that Blissey. So, it's not great. And the grind is going to begin. Do we see a Max God from the, the hat? Potentially, yeah. Okay. I mean, we've got Grassy Glide the next turn, so we're not in the worst trouble. And another Minimize, I'd imagine. 
Yeah, just making sure you're getting those minimizers right up. And then you know what the last Pokemon's gonna be that comes in, it's gonna be Shuckle. Um, <clears throat> but this might work out all right for us because if the Trick Room ends this next turn, then it does mean they're gonna find it difficult to go for the skill book if we can just get rid of the Shuckle. Um, and that's, that's the big thing for us, I think. But let's see. Yeah, and that's perfect. Because they've just protected, they can't do anything. And I think we just double in. Uh, do we go body press just because it'll redirect? Yeah, I think we, yeah, we just do that. And then if the shuckle does come in, at least we're getting double damage onto it. The grassy glide and the body press. Although it would have been better to probably uh, flash cannon, if you're thinking of that. I just want the body press into that blissy, because this will break the sub. There's a final minimize. Come on, Magnazon, you can do this. You can hit it. It's like the one on the left, the third one, far left. <laughs> it's hit, it's hit. Come on. Good, good, Magnazon. Now break that sub. Perfect. Right. Now it's going to be Shuckle coming in. I don't think Shuckle takes a wood hammer and a flash cannon. No way. No way. It's going to have to be Shuckle, though. And then it just leaves us to deal with this pink blob. Doom. There we are. There you are, little Shuckle. I love Shuckle. It's such a good Pokemon. I need to get rid of it. We need to we need to drop the nukes on it right now. Flash cannon, wood hammer. Done. I think we like it's worked out alright by the timing of the trick room. Um which makes it a little bit easier, but oh man, I just don't I just don't want a 40 minute episode. We just need to remove this thing. Oh, I don't know if it's going to be enough. It's a fat, it's a fat shuckle. Come on, please, Magnazon. If anyone can do it, you can. Okay. We're about one step in on a, a about six step process. Okay, try attack. Okay. It's... No. Oh, are you kidding? Are you kidding? Come on. <laughs> no. Please, Magnazon. Come on, it's got Seren Grace. It's going to do all sorts of horrible things to us. Ah. Right, well, we got to knock off, and uh, I, I just got a body press. Hopefully, you waste some time going for substitutes, and we thaw out. Miss. Frozen. Okay, friends, so I am just literally speeding up these turns because this match ends up going on for quite a while. As you can imagine, against the Blissey, there is quite a lot to handle. And I kind of decide to try and take this to time it because I feel like at the moment, with the minimizer set up, it's our only way to really get through this game. So it really comes down to can we stall out enough. So it really is about keeping the Rillaboom around and making sure it stays on the field to keep getting that grassy terrain up so we can recover a little bit of health because it doesn't matter too much if our opponent is healing health. It just matters about the number of Pokemon we have at the end of the turn. Unfortunately, Rillaboom uh, gets paralyzed by the try attack from Blissey and I still literally cannot believe the amount of damage that the tri attack is doing. This Blissey is literally on steroids. It's insane. It's hitting super hard. Uh, we do manage to obviously thaw out with a Magnezone, which does help, but we are just not hitting any attacks and we can't manage to maneuver a board position around where Rillaboom is able to go out, PZ go down, and then Rillaboom come in with the grassy terrain again. And I think that just kind of kills off the game for us a little bit there. The freeze definitely didn't help on the Magnezone early on. It would have been a bit easier if we could have maybe broke the odd sub to put the pressure on so oh, I feel so broken after that okay well I think outside of that Blissey the team performed pretty well in this episode and um, I hope you found that last match entertaining that's all I'm going to say and good game to my opponent of course good game to my opponent so without further ado we've got the rental teams and just a little heads up with the rental teams friends so the rental teams are going to be up i'm going to keep them up for two week periods because we've only got like six slots and that's across like i thought with my pokemon sword uh, shield account that i'd be able to have another six slots but it's not how it works so once you've got those slots up uh, even across games you've only got six slots 
and that's it's super frustrating so um what we're gonna do in this one i'm gonna take down um yeah we'll take down this cinderace one um we've not long actually put this up to be honest but I do have another Cinderace team up, which is new, which will be up this week. So keep an eye out for that. And um, I will upload this PZ team, which is right here. So make it public. And then we can check it out. And then you can grab that rental cord and try this PZ team out. And I hope you enjoy it, my friends. Um, and if you do, Definitely let me know down in, oh no, 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 no. We wanna just check it. That's what we want, there we go. Yeah, if you do try it out, definitely let me know down in the comment section below what your thoughts are, if you've had a lot of fun with it, how you found it, and what your best aspects of it are. The coaching mind show, we never actually got to get going in this episode, but it has been very fun nonetheless. And uh, the blissier uh, side, I think the team's done pretty well um, overall. So hope you enjoy it, friends. We're going to sign out there. Just a reminder that we do stream over on Twitch three times a week on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So if you'd like to come out and check some live battles, interact and uh, hang out, it will be a lot of fun to see you there. But um, if you've enjoyed this episode, please remember to drop a like on the video. It does really help the channel. It lets me know that you enjoy this sort of content as well. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the notification bell because if you don't you'll never know when these videos go up so you'll miss them so for that reason alone hit the bell and uh, i'll see you all for the next one so take care of yourselves friends be kind to each other and uh, until the next one i'll see you then so until then bye bye